Good morning students. Today we are going to do one activity for chapter Anita and the Honey Bees. Before that activity, just have a quick recapitulation what we have done in that chapter. In that chapter we have done, we have learned about beekeeping. Like the types of bees we have done. Like in a beehive we have three kinds of bees. Male bee or we call it drone, female or queen bee, one another kind of female bee but we call it worker bee. Okay and here is the life cycle of honey bee also. We call this life cycle as metamorphosis. Why it is another different name? Reason bache just assume when you were baby you look like your parents like you have two eyes, you have one nose, you have two hands. You are small in size but you look like a human baby. But see here, just look here. Eggs. Is these eggs look like honeybees? No. That eggs turns to larva. Larva also doesn't look like honeybees. Larva turns to pupa. And then pupa to adult honey bee. But all the stages are different from each other. That's why we call this life cycle as metamorphosis. Frog also have similar kind of life cycle. We have done more one more thing that about the nest of honeybees. Nest of honeybee what we call it? Beehive. Beehive has small compartments. Hexagonal shape. Hexagonal shape. Six sided shape. Like this. Each compartment is having six sides. Like this, honeybees make their bee hive. And this is the nest of honeybees where they take rest, where they make honey from nectar, where they lay eggs and worker bees look after the baby bees. Okay, so today we are going to do the activity of pollination. Pollination is a very important function of honeybees. We have learned in chapter values of flowers also. Pollination, transfer of pollens from one flower to another flower. And it helps the plants in development of seeds. So here we will do the activity how honeybees play that important role of pollination. See, I have made flowers, paper flowers. For you. Okay. And I am going to put some colors. A yellow color I am having. I am going to put this yellow color as a pollen center of your flower. Now see how honeybee is going to see. Here is your honeybee. Now honeybee goes to flower. Why it goes to flower? It goes to flower to suck nectar. Nectar is food for honeybees. It is their food, a sweet juice like uh, substance present in flowers. And when that same honeybees, then when it goes to the flower, the pollen see, stuck, just stick here to the legs of your honeybees. And when this same honeybees move to another flower, see here no pollens, but when it sits here to suck nectar for its food, here, see, similar to other flowers also. See, now these pollens transfer from this red flower to these orange flowers. I am going to show you how. First of all see the legs of your honeybees. Is it visible? The yellow pollen visible here? Okay. And see now. All flowers get, just got that pollen. So this is your pollination. You assume if honeybees are not there. If no honeybees is there then how that pollination occurs. Though butterflies other insects are responsible for that. But most of the pollination done by honeybees. That's why honeybees play an important role in environment in the form of pollination also. Hope the things are clear to you. Thank you.